Hello and welcome to another episode of Daily TV. Today we're looking at Don't Break the Ice. What? So, Mummy got this one, didn't she? From yeah. Van Gogh's Thorpe. It's another one of those games where you look and you think, is it going to be fun or is it not? We don't know, do we? So we'll give it a go. But I think it's going to be a bit like Jenga, but not. Uh, if you're struggling, there's some, some scissors. Can I have the scissors, please? Thank you. So what do you think this game's going to be about? Penguins. Penguins. And ice. Penguins and ice. Ooh, plasticky bits. There you go. Oh, I like plasticky bits. Mm, oh, this okay. is going to be one of those that once we've played it, it's going to be virtually nigh on impossible. <laughs> oh, well, we found there at the first go. No, I think it's going to be nigh impossible to get back in the pot. What do you think? Mmm, plastic mm. jam. Plastic jam. Alright, wait a minute. I thought it was appropriate. Box over there. I thought it was appropriate because mm, we would have had a warning choke hazards. Okay, small parts. Hi, I'm Phil. Snow, nice to meet you. Nah, yeah. Can you help me chomp, chop, chomp, chop some ice blocks so I can make a new igloo? But brrr, that water's cold, even for me. Don't let me fall in. So uh, that's it, basically. So let's follow the instructions. First thing we did. Hey. Go and put the legs on. That's how cold. Now, if you look at the instructions here, you can see that we have to sort of slot them all in in that fashion. Put the middle one in. Where's the? There he is. Where's the last one? There it is. And purple, you're green. Really? Oh, I see. These are our hands. Right. We need to turn it over, and we need to put all the cubes in, like so. Wait a minute. And we need to put this one. We need one to put the, the cubes in. Yeah. But we do all these first. This is probably good. Do you remember that? What was that thing we had with the um, where we had to stack them? Do you remember that? No. Where we tried to do it. The um, num nums was it? Zoom zoom. Zoom zooms. That's right. And then we, we virtually couldn't do it, could we? It's impossible. All right, let's get all these in here. They're quite. Uh, so they're all in there. Let's make sure they're all nice and right. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Like that. Wait a minute. Sorry. I'll put them in. Right, now wait a minute. Ooh, let's get that. Wait a minute, let's get that positioned. Right, so let's put this in the middle. <coughs> oh look. So we now take it, let me just read, just in case. <laughs> you know what we're like with instructions, aren't yeah. we? With rubbish. Two mallets, check. Ice tray frame, check. Four ice cube. Four ice tray legs, yes. One large ice block, yes. 32 small ice blocks. Philip the penguin. Oh, pardon me. Philip the penguin figure. Aim not the blocks of ice, but be careful. Don't break the ice that makes Phil fall through. So it's quite simple, isn't it? Right. Does it say you go first? I don't think it does, does it? Let's see. Oh, wait, there's some more instructions here. Right. Remove the discard that's got over and you're getting ready. While well, the tray stays still upside down, carefully turn the thing over. Yeah, oh, that's it, that's all we've done. Anymore. Right. The youngest player goes first. So that's you. And then passes to the left. Hmm, nobody there. Hi. Right. Carefully tap the ice box with your mallet and you must keep tapping the same block until it falls through to the bottom of the, the ice tray. Even if doing so causes other ice blocks to fall. So. If you remove the block without making Philip fall through, the great job. It's now the next player's turn. If you break the ice and Philip falls through, too bad, you're out of the game. <laughs> Rest the, uh, reset the blocks to start a new round with the remaining players. No, it's okay if more than one block falls through on your turn, as long as Philip doesn't fall through to win. The last player left who hasn't made Phil fall through the ice is the winner. So, go on then, pick one. <laughs> It's going. Come on. I'm pressing it. 
going, I'll just keep tapping. It'll fall out eventually. <gasps> there you go. I'm gonna play it safe. Ah. Right, this I'm uh, now I'm gonna go for one over here that There we go. Oh, look, that whole corner's gone down now, hasn't it? Look. Oh, no. Go on. I know which one I'm going for. Go on, there, which one? Oh. Do you know what we're doing there? There's only going to be these ones left holding it out. So if I go for this one. <gasps> See, we've done a pattern, haven't we? So yeah. there's only those two, those two, those two, and those holding the middle in. So we ooh, do one. Try for some of the others. That, that one. Going for that one, are you? Go on then. One looks like a tight one, doesn't it? But they're all moving. <laughs> He's wobbling a bit. Oh, look at that! Oh, I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, some of them are a bit harder to knock than others, aren't they? I'm gonna for this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, two came out then. Right. I can see what's going to happen here. <gasps> We're going to end up with like a bit in the middle, aren't we? Go on then. What are you going to take out next? Are well, you going to take that one? That's brave. Go on then. <laughs> oh, two fell out then. Come on then. What's, what are you going to go for? Wise choice. No, not that one. Yeah. I don't want to. Okay. okay. You can go for each other one you want. That's what I'd have gone for. Right, now, now we're getting there. Uh... Hey, you're cheating. I'm not cheating. What? Why? Because you're going for the one that's not nearest to the penguin. Yeah, you can go for any of them, can't you? Yeah. The idea is just to make them fall, so if I think this one isn't going to make you fall. <gasps> I'm going for this one. Go on then. Oh, now we're getting a bit dicey, aren't we? Okay, this is hard. Right, I'm going to go for that one. No, that one. <laughs> He's going to make him fall. No. Go on then, which one are you going to go for? This one. Oh, go on then. This one. Oh dear. Oh, <gasps> this is going to be so hard for me now. Not necessarily. It's still possible. Is it? I think. No, I don't know if it is actually. This reminds me of Connect Four, you know that game? I think that's it now. I'm gonna take the four. <gasps> oh my oh. goodness! Oh. 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 To make sure yeah. I can... Oh no, look, that's me now, isn't it? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think, oh, it's not over yet though, is it? But I think that's pretty much it. Make him fall. <laughs> <laughs> See, I said it's not over until he falls. Come on. <laughs> Ow. Stop it. Oh my. There's some of your hair in there. Um, right, go on then. Which one are you going for? <laughs> See, you shouldn't count your chickens before they're hatched. I'm not going to go for any of them. Why not? We've got to end the game. I'm going to go for this middle one. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, penguin. <laughs> Come on. 
Oh. I lost. Let's play another round. Right. And uh, you're right. starting. I don't want to start in this game, man. Yeah, and I promise you, if I do it again, I will go mad. <laughs> you're already mad. What are you going about? I would have thought they'd lock in place or something, but. Um, no, it's because it's easy. Let me just get this lined up in the camera shot first. Alright, go on then. Push it careful. A minute. Go on. I'll do. It's alright, only rest in there. Right, we've reset it for another challenge game. This time you I go first, first, don't I? It's still got a piece of your hair stuck in it now. Right, we ready? Go on then, where are you gonna go? It is it does remind me of Connect 4 this because you've got to like almost here. Plan what you're gonna do. Going for that one in the corner, are you? The person who has the least blocks wins. Go on, you'll go. Oh, this blocks. one looks. Keep your blocks. I don't know if, it, I don't know if it, it's just going to be. Well, the one that wins is the one that doesn't make it fall down. That's the game. Oh, did that one just fall out there? Yeah. Right, go on then. We're going for a less patterned approach now. Oh, we all moved then, did you see it? Right. Oh. Oh, the whole corner fell out with that one. Mm, I think if you're hitting it and one falls out, you still have to keep going for the one you're hitting. Because it's safe more than one falls out. <gasps> I can knock down that whole corner if I want. Go on then. I'd knock down one if I were you there. That was another one. We're right down to it now, aren't we? That wasn't supposed to happen actually. Oh, he wobbled a bit then. That was not supposed to happen. No, I know it wasn't. Come on then. Just, no. Oh! Oh no! Now I'm stuck, aren't I? Because uh -oh. those two fell out. Uh -huh. I've got nothing left to hit now. I've got to hit one of these, and we know what's going to happen. Ah! ah, ah. Say that you're a what's the word a um, a calm winner. So, what do you think of this game then? Yeah. Well, we will do, but we'll we'll have to say goodbye because we'll be here all night, won't we? I can play it against Spencer, and whoever wins. I've got a feeling that Spencer will just be. Ah! <laughs> right. So, what do you think of the game then? Yeah, you can I think it's fun. Home. Yeah, I think the thing I like about this as well is it's really simple. The instructions aren't too complicated, and uh, it's good fun to play as well, isn't it? It's almost like a sort of bit of a tactical game. I think as long as you don't try and hit the same ones every time and you mix it up, it makes it a bit more interesting. Because you could say, "Oh, I'm just going to do this pattern," and then you both do it, and then the same person always wins. So you, you have to mix it up a bit. So if you like the idea of this game and you'd, uh, you're thinking of getting it, just let us know. And let, leave us some comments and thumbs up as well, that really helps us. And plus you can get it from Argos. Oh, we did get it from Argos, didn't we, that in the UK. 
So if you'd like to like, comment and subscribe to our channel, it would be... Greatly appreciated. It certainly would. And thanks for watching. And until we see you next time on Wacky Wednesday, we will say... Bye. Bye-bye.